If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, we have Sergio Gomez in the same team. So I was like, you know what? This guy has Brobe and Sergio, Go Sergio Gomez. So why not review Brobe at the same time, right? Because with fullbacks, in order for you to review them, you kind of have to play the game normally and it makes no sense to not have an attacker to review it. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, Brobe, guys, we're taking a look at uh, one of the future stars attackers that you can potentially improve. Uh, with this card on a finisher... You can improve his shooting, improve his dribbling. Uh, you can also go in the direction of, you know, potentially giving him a Hawk chemistry style to improve his acceleration a little bit more, to give him that extra aggression. I think generally speaking, it might make the most sense to just give him the finisher just because you want to drastically improve the dribbling capabilities of the card. I can maybe see some people giving him an engine just to boost the dribbling area, passing area, and give him a little bit of extra acceleration. But then the finishing is not in the mid 90s area and you guys know how i am with that especially with the way that finishing works this year so finisher with a four star four star player who's 5 11 low low work rates right so low low should be interesting to try out um with this card's low low work rates he also has a stocky body type right so stocky body type on the card uh should be interesting to try out uh defensive capabilities he has 99 jumping with 96 heading accuracy uh, we'll see how that works with the body type because people always ignore that. But the body type and how that is always influences how it works with the jumping and heading accuracy. But he does have aerial, right? Aerial, rapid, bruiser, power header, acrobatic power header plus, and the chip shot to work with too. So um, it definitely looks like an interesting attacker. Um, we're going to see how he performs in game in the main attacking positions up top in a 4-3-2-1 just on the stay central instruction. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Bro, if I scored right from the beginning, that'd be hilarious. Ah, oh, no animation there, huh? Oh, I wasn't even playing there. Like it. There it is. There he is, my boy. Good stuff. Oh my goodness. Green time strike on Brobe. <laughs> and it just... It goes over, my dude. Oh, puts pressure. Ah, oh, yeah. I gotta do the extra pass. We cross there, but can I get anything after? Nice. Beauty of a finish. Let's go, bro, bay. Ooh, nice try. His first touch there was actually solid to work with. No, to Brobe, dude. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's not going to be known for those, that's for sure. Ah, that would have been good. Would have been good on that one for sure. Oh man, maybe if I greened it, it would have worked out. Oh, maybe again? <laughs> okay. I mean, hey, that works, dude. Look at that randomness. And then he does like a chip header here, huh? But it works, man. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. 
Kai has the evolution of Dopo card, eh? I will say, uh, there is one thing about this card that's interesting. He is very strong. Like, he's one of the uh, very few physical type strikers where, you know, when they're like, oh, he's really strong and, like, it actually shows in game. Like, with him, it definitely shows 100%. Like, the only other person I really feel that with on a consistent basis is probably, like, Holland, you know? Oh, that ball would have been sick if that was a more physical player there. I mean, that challenge. Oh, I gotta get that green. Not bad, though. No way. <laughs> oh, I need an animation there, my dude. Nice try. Gotta get that green though, man. Oh, and I still don't score. No way, man. <laughs> oh, dude, that's funny. Oh man. He doesn't really have many uh, jumping animations, huh? Oh, that's not his thing, huh? Oh man, I gotta get those greens, dude. Oh, it's going to be direct anyways. Ooh. No, dude. There we go. Just had to wait for him to get position there. His dribbling is surprisingly better than I thought it would be. I thought he would be super sluggish. He's really not. Oh, beautiful pass there. Oh, transition on the attack. No chance, no chance. This card's actually enjoyable. I, I honestly thought, just by the looks of him, I thought he was going to be trash. But this guy is actually impressing me a lot. Like, it's, it's actually really interesting. I, he, like I said, I use a lot of physical type strikers. He's the only one where I really, like... I really feel like he's a physical type striker. Like, I could feel the physical advantage he has from, like, the first touch with the physical and stuff, you know? Nice. Ooh, one more. Ah, gonna get it off. Oh, no way, dude. Is that Schmeichel? Yeah, Schmeichel's pretty good on the set pieces. That works. Ah, 
Yeah, a little bit too much emphasis on that one. Ugh, but you just have to work with that a little bit, right, from time to time. But yeah, this, this card, guys, like I said, usually with physical type strikers, they're way too annoying to use. But with him, there's so many situations where, like, the physical is actually helpful for him. Like, he doesn't feel so emphasized in certain situations, like, especially under pressure to score an opportunity. It's really interesting with him. Oh, thank goodness. Let's go, Robe. Into the strike. Oh, no. Nice try. I probably should have done an extra pass there, at least. Oh my goodness, man. Come on. You just stuff like that. I, I like I like the plays with him in, in those areas. It's actually really nice. That's where you're going to notice the emphasis a little bit, but you got to work with that, of course, right? Ah, would have been nice if it was a goal. Would have been warranted. No! No! Nice try. Nice try, nice try. I mean, he's got to at least get those, you know what I'm saying? Like, he has to. If someone makes a mistake like that, for sure, bro. Oh, I hit my own player. And he's offside because I hit him. See, like, it's Van Dyke, right? But, like, even the, the battle before, the fact that he can win that against him is kind of sick, because Van Dyke's Van Dyke, you know? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, he has acrobatic, but got a green time that, especially from that angle. That physical is crazy to work with, though. And once I got that lob off. Side footed animation. Oh, it'd be like that. Oh, that was a crazy deflection, man. Crazy deflection. Oh, I thought that hit me last. Would have been nice if I got that off, eh? Nice. Uses his physical there. Good stuff. Nice. Good attacking play. Good attacking play. Nice. I fully commit that, it's not gonna make sense. Oh, 
divine vision. To be fair, I should have passed it. <laughs> I should have, but for the sake of the review, you know, I want to shoot that right away. Oh, bro, baby. Ah, wish they gave him like a five star week for at least. It would have been sick if they did. Oh, I think he used manual goalkeeping. Manual goalkeeper, that loser. Good stuff. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Attacker advantage with the power header. Never know. Manual goalkeeping. There we go. Good stuff. That worked out. Huh. No chance. Oh, he still gets that physical presence, though. No way, EA. You're so trash, man. I have to green time that with perfect finishing? Side-footed animation? Like, come on, dude. Ah, uh, I tried. Counts as a foul. See, that's the only thing, right? Right there, I definitely noticed a lack of sprint speed in some situations. So that's where it could be ideal to not give him a finisher if you feel like you find yourself in those sort of situations a little bit more often. See, a little physical presence there. He gets it, it, That's the thing, right? He gets that one skill move. He has that physical presence to get past people. It's really cool. See, I was close. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I, if I do a driven pass to him in those situations, like, he actually does a good job of, like, out-muscling some of the defenders. There you go. Nice pass. That's what I'm looking for. Good stuff, guys. As well there. Good stuff, guys. Typical meta goal. Like it. Huh, Broby got injured from doing the pass. That's funny. Let's go. Good stuff, good stuff. I'll take that. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Brobe card. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. This card actually surprised me a lot. Um, I've used a lot of physical type strikers in this game. And a lot of the times, their physical presence is not really like worth having for the most part. Like when we're talking about like top tier meta. Like 
normally with like physical type players, it has to be players like Janola, Team of the Year, Holland, um, R9, right? Because if it's not those types of guys, you can't really utilize that specific thing. Brobe is one of the very few cards where he actually outbodies people in the defensive positions and you can actually notice it, right? Now, obviously with his dribbling not being as crazy as the top tier meta physical type players, sure, you do have to work with that a little bit, right? Um, in my case, I gave him a finisher chemistry style to increase the agility, balance, and dribbling as uh, on the card as much as possible um, to give him that uh, shooting boost as well to make him as perfect as possible in that area. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this card surprised me a lot, right? Because of the fact that I, can actually, that I can actually utilize his physical capabilities. His body type, 5'11 with what? Like it's, it's got to be a stocky or a unique or something. Stocky, yeah. So with this card in particular, when it comes to utilizing that body type, it's very, very noticeable on him. And it's interesting though, because there are certain situations where, you know, he obviously has aerial. Um, I think because of his stocky, he sometimes does it well and he sometimes doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Like some players, they have other mechanics, other features that make them perform a certain way like if you guys have ever used cristiano ronaldo for instance you know that he has his own unique animation when it comes to jumping and he's crazy at it right similar situation to virgil van dyke when he has the aerial as well i don't think brobe is crazy in the aerial as much as those guys but he's still pretty decent at it right because with his physical capabilities you'll be able to utilize the power header and the acrobatic a little bit more so for people who you know, aren't going in the direction of like the higher tier meta for strikers. I'm telling you guys that this card actually surprised me a lot. Now, again, for top tier meta, people might not use them on a consistent basis. It's always going to be like the Mbappes, the Zebus, all that kind of stuff, right? But this card was really fun to use. And a lot of times you guys know how I am. I don't like using physical type attackers, right? Most of the times, but he was fun and he was fun because of the body type. I wish that his work rates were a little bit different too. I think he was, if he was a high medium, it definitely would be really nice too. But honestly, guys, the low, low works out perfectly fine in game, as long as you, um, you know, put the right instructions on him. For instance, if your play style is to kind of launch driven passes at him and then for him to lay the ball off to other people quickly from the first time passes and stuff, that play style, he's going to be able to do really well. So honestly, this is a really W, a really big W in regards to Eredivisie, IX fans that are building this sort of squad because this guy can actually cook in game. He's pretty decent to use. I was very surprised. I honestly thought he was going to be garbage and he wasn't. He actually did a really solid job for me. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. You look at these cards, man. It's the base card stats for like the physical and whatnot, you know, it's it's just really crazy for him. But I, like I said, so you could see that he has a 99 jumping, the 96 heading accuracy, and he's decent at it. But I think the stocky part individually, that's what doesn't allow him to do it on a consistent, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's still really good. You guys can see I scored a couple of uh, headers with him because he had the physical presence to outbody certain people. But the main test is outbodying Van Dyke, which he was able to do sometimes. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.